Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Recently, I was travelling through a large international airport and I had a, a connection of several hours. And so I found the most comfortable seat I could find with a charger to plug, recharge my phone and, and my laptop and everything else. And it was quite close to the toilets. And I realised that uh, the same guy uh, was going in and out of the toilets again and again and again. And he kept hitting this button as you went in the door. And you've probably seen these, you know, it's basically, uh, how are we doing? How's the cleanliness of our toilets? And they've got these different faces ranging, ranging from a really unhappy one to one with a real smiley face on that means the toilets are five star. And this guy was basically hitting the smiley face every time he went in and out. And then I realized he was, he had a badge on and he was a member of staff. And, and, and then I realized he was actually the cleaner of the toilets and so I, I guess in some way their job performance is evaluated by how people hit those buttons and uh, I mean just in the space of about 10 minutes he must have hit that button 60 or 70 times and he must uh, be assessed by his employers as being the very best cleaner that the airport has the only problem is it's himself that's hitting the button all the time I thought about this you know there's an old proverb that says self-praise is no recommendation. And uh, that, that's a really old proverb. In fact, it, it goes back uh, to, to the Roman Empire, to Latin, where laus in proprio ore sordescit, praise in one's own mouth is offensive. In fact, the idea, if not the actual words, go back way before the Roman Empire as well. In the book of Old Testament book of Proverbs, long before the Roman Empire was even thought of. In Proverbs 20, chapter 27 verse 2 it says don't praise yourself let someone else do it let the praise come from a stranger and not from your own mouth and obviously the praise is seen as being more valuable more realistic if it's coming from somebody else uh, people still fake it as if it's coming from others. There's a very well-known American politician who for years had uh, a framed cover of Time magazine with his face on it uh, in his office. The only problem was no such uh, copy of Time magazine existed. He had actually had it done up himself as a fake cover to make himself look more important. And I think of the way sometimes that we honour people. You know, sometimes people, they, they want to leave something good for somebody's lasting memory. It doesn't always have the effect that they wanted. Uh, in Dublin, there's a part of Dublin where I often walk past a statue and I look up at it. And for some reason, reason all the pigeons sit on this statue's head and poo on it. And so the statue's sort of like, a, you know, greeny gray, and, and it's got this big white crown on his head. And no, it's not white hair, it's pigeon poop. And I'm thinking, imagine that, like you give your whole life to the city and they, they reward you by putting up a statue where you're permanently covered in pigeon poop. Well, you know what? Men's applause is not what it's about either. A lot of people think it is. But it's not. Self-praise is no recommendation. But for those of us that are children of the living God, we know that men's applause is very fickle and it's not something we're supposed to seek after at all. There's only one assessment that really matters. There's only one praise that really matters. And that is the voice of the Lord himself. When he, we will hear his voice saying, well done, my good and faithful servant. And I encourage you today, don't puff yourself up by trying to make yourself sound more important than you really are and don't live to try to gather other people's praise and whether it's in the forms of likes on social media or people saying nice and glowing recommendations about you don't seek those things but seek rather the the word from our heavenly lord well done my good and faithful servant may that be our motivation in living for him today. God bless you today. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada.